uh, second one, would the president pardon or commute his son uh, if he's convicted? So I've answered this question before. It was asked of me not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I was very clear, and I said no. The White House insisting President Biden won't pardon the first son if he is convicted on three felony gun charges. This as Hunter Biden could face up to 25 years in prison as he's officially indicted after allegedly lying about being on drugs, purchasing a firearm in 2018. Here with reactions, is former Assistant Treasury Secretary and host of the Monica Crowley, Monica Crowley podcast, Monica Crowley. Uh, good morning, Monica. Uh, what do you make of good this, morning, Will. this latest, um, that not only will Hunter Biden uh, be charged in these gun charges, but also the White House suggesting they won't pardon Hunter Biden? Well, the charges on the federal gun crime, uh, Will, is, that's all fine as far as it goes. But understand that this is so that they can all argue that there is an equal application of the law in this country when clearly there <coughs> is not, while also protecting his father, Joe, because this is the only crime that does not involve Joe Biden. So this is largely a sideshow. The alleged bribery, the foreign influence peddling, the selling out of America corruption, that is the main event, and that is coming this fall. To Corrine Jean-Pierre's comments about how the president will not pardon his son, that may be true for the time being, but this White House is known to lie uh, straight through their teeth. So I, I anticipate a full pardon at the end of Biden's term, which could be coming sooner rather than later. Well, let's talk about that sooner rather than later for the end of Biden's term. It's looking like that Joe Biden, it's, it's looking like the tide is turning against him. And what I mean by that is the entire apparatus around him designed to protect Joe Biden, namely, most importantly, the media. Um, let's take a quick look really quickly at some examples of people in the mainstream media that previously would have run cover for Joe Biden beginning to criticize him. Watch key question with somebody who's as, as old as Vice President, as, excuse me, President Biden will be, is, is whether people see the Vice President as, as a strong successor. So far, I don't think she's made that case. Is Vice President that Kamala Harris argue. the best running mate for this president? He thinks so, and that's what matters. I've not seen any public opinion polling. Um, you know, I, you might be a stronger vice presidential uh, running mate than her or me or anybody else. Monica, that's on the ticket in general and talking about Kamala Harris as Joe Biden's running mate. But, you, you know, I saw CNN's fact checker who has been on vacation for about three years decide to come back and fact check Joe Biden on some of his lies. What's going on? It's like they're turning on Joe Biden. Yeah, it's clear, Will, that the media has gotten their marching orders, that the left's power brokers want Joe Biden gone. I think it's become increasing, increasingly clear to them, who actually control this uh, administration, that Joe Biden has largely outlived his usefulness, and now they want him gone. So they're taking a look at his advanced age and steep cognitive decline. They're looking at the whole range of other liabilities, a massive bribery investigation, the impending impeachment, and the catastrophic Biden economy, and so on. And they're saying, we cannot go into 2024 with this man. So they're going to move to remove him. They've got the backup of the mainstream media to uh, put pressure on Joe Biden to get out. And maybe that was the original deal. And Joe and Jill Biden are resisting that. But but the pressure is now building to remove him. The challenge for the Democrats is not just to get rid of Joe Biden, but Kamala Harris as well, because right. they can't run her. She's the most unpopular VP in American history. I got to go, Monica, but just really quickly, give me the name then. If they turn away from Joe Biden, they turn to who? Well, certainly not Kamala, and I suspect it may very well be Michelle Obama, who is the only candidate that they could really run at the last minute, draft her as a reluctant candidate, and run her as a substantial uh, competitor to President Trump. Wow. All right. Monica Crowley, thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.